Hello, I'm your host Hannah and welcome to Seoul Museum Tour, a program that brings Korea's national museums to the palm of your hand. Has COVID-19 postponed your travel plans to Korea? Or do you simply miss exploring museums? Well, in that case, you're in luck. In this episode, we'll be exploring the National Folk Museum of Korea, a place where visitors can learn how Koreans lived in the past. The National Folk Museum of Korea is located inside Gyeongbokgung Palace, a short walk from Gwangamun Square. Let's see what kinds of exhibitions await us in these spaces. Let's go. The special exhibition we'll be taking a look at today is called Finding Folklore in Kisan's Genre Paintings. Now, Kisan is the pen name of a painter named Kim Jun Gun, who was active from the late 19th century to the early 20th century. He painted a diverse range of folk customs. Now, before we begin, it would be helpful to have some background information on Kisan and Kisan's paintings. Let's go meet the curator to find out the significance of these genre paintings from the Joseon period. Kisan Kim Jung Gun's case is a case of Pung Sook Hwa, which is the case of the Joseon's culture of the Joseon. 특히 세계에 알렸던 케일컬처의 원조라고 할 수가 있어요. 개항장에 왔던 외국인들도 뭔가 상품을 찾았을 건데 거기에 그거에 딱 이해관계가 맞았던 게 기산이 그린 풍속화였습니다. 우리도 그 외국에 그 관광을 가게 되면 기념 상품 같은 걸 사는데 그 나라의 좀 특징을 담고 있는 걸 사게 되잖아요. 당시 100년 전에 여러 가지 그 우리나라 풍속 그리고 살아왔던 생활 모습들이 다 나타나 있는데 그게 그대로 이제 시, 시기를 거듭하면서 어, 외국의 박물관들에 남아 있게 된 거고 이제 국내외에 이렇게 소장되어 있는 자료들을 모아서 이번에 한 자리에서 이렇게 소개하는 전시입니다. So for this, uh, for example, it says Pansori performer, and uh, you can see a group of men listening to a singer performing for them. A little something to drink as well. And um, I can imagine why something like this would have been a good souvenir for Europeans to take back home after visiting Korea, because it's just, there's so much detail. And yes, you, you really get a feel for how people lived during uh, the late 19th century. If you take a closer look, uh, you can see that each woman is at a different stage. So it's almost like a time lapse. There's a woman spinning it. There's a woman kind of beating it with a stick, it looks like. And there's a woman who's picking it uh, from the cotton. This one is a um, performer walking on a tightrope. For those of you who've maybe watched the movie Wang Enamja, if you remember from that movie, uh, they jump on a rope. That's what this picture here is depicting. I just discovered this wall here that shows a map of the world and uh, it tells you where all of uh, Kisan's paintings are located around the world. The majority of Kisan's paintings uh, are overseas because they were so popular as souvenirs. And uh, here you can see that uh, in total there are almost 1,500 pieces. Pretty impressive how uh, popular these paintings were among Westerners uh, during the Joseon era. It's really cool. Guys, 
Guys, any idea what this is used for? Is it to row a boat? Is it for cooking? This stick was used for flogging criminals. So in other words, uh, during the Chosan times, if you committed a crime and you were caught, uh, you would be held down and hit on the bum with this giant stick. So apparently uh, it's very hard to find such detailed uh, pictures of Chosan's, you know, various punishments. Kisan left all these records for us, so we have a very good idea of how severe the punishment would have been. There's setting fire between toes, there's seesawing on a board placed over his lap. Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> So have any of you guys seen the popular drama Kingdom? Uh, I heard that since that drama came out, a lot of people overseas became very, very interested in learning more about these very special hats that are worn. You can see a wide variety of cut or hats, different types of hats that were worn by people during the Choson period. Very cool little corner of the exhibit. Uh, so I've arrived at what looks like the recreation room of this exhibit. Paduk Changi Sangnyuk, which is another word for double six game. Uh, you can see behind me the paintings in which Kisan depicted these games being played by Joseon era men and women. And uh, behind me here, you can see the actual uh, board games being presented. This particular corner, you can see how people 100 years ago, you know, kept themselves entertained playing all these different games. Uh, today's exhibition allowed us to step into Korea during the early 20th century. I think this would be an excellent exhibition to check out after visiting Gyeongbokgung Palace. And I would also recommend taking a stroll down Samcheongno just outside to enjoy the beautiful autumn leaves as well. Well, I think uh, that concludes our tour of the National Folk Museum of Korea. Uh, if you have any other museums you'd like for me to visit on your behalf, please leave it in the comment section below. Otherwise, I think that's all for today. Uh, it was Hannah, your host for the show Seoul Museum Tour, and I'll see you next time. So I'm now inside the National Museum of Korea, and uh, there's a cool piece of trivia that I just learned. Uh, did you know that this exact spot uh, that I'm standing on right now is where the members of BTS stood during their shoot here at the museum? So if ever you visit, why don't you try standing just where they stood as well? <laughs>